Alright, so today we are installing the Mountains to Metal center console molly panel. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we've got here. Alright, so this one is really simple to do actually. So we've got two bolts here that are actually holding on your handle. And then we've also got one that's kind of peeking, hidden back here that we're going to pop a panel out. And they have provided some really good instructions. So super simple. Some of the companies coming out right now don't have great instructions and these are actually pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so tools for the trade for this one. I just have a fancy little screwdriver. Our Bronco toolkit. A little spacer and a screw that they provided to us. Tiny little Allen wrench and our Molly panel. And that's it, here we go. So you have two options here. You actually have a bit you can actually put in your impact or your favorite drill or you can actually use uh, this handy dandy little tool so I'm actually going to use this it takes just a little bit to go ahead and get it loose but once you get it loose so just flip it over we're going to take these bad boys all the way out all right fancy right so next step is to use our fancy little flathead screwdriver. Pop this little panel out. That's it. So like all projects, sometimes you need an extra tool. And in this one, we need a seven millimeter socket as well. So we're gonna use this to go ahead and take off this fancy little bolt, which we will be replacing with the standard. All right, so this is gonna be, I think, the more tricky part. So let's see what we're gonna do with this because we actually have to take this and put it under our plastic lip here just a little bit. So not hugely difficult to do, but it is gonna take just a little bit of finagling to do. Huh, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I do have one little spacer that I have to put in here. just put it right there all right so easy to pie right so we have one more step I'm actually going to take the handle now and put it back on all right so the handle actually doesn't have to completely come off but it does have to go ahead and get those screws in there so you might as well take it off because as you can see it's super simple to put back on so just go ahead and put it back in there go ahead and take my fancy little tool all right and now we're done so super easy right now it's ready for our accessories. We're gonna go ahead and get accessory ready. So we actually have a Midland GMRS uh, radio for two-way communications for our vehicle. So we're actually gonna temporarily mount it just with zip ties until we figure out the best way that we want this to go ahead and be mounted. Um, but zip tie, super easy, right? So let's go ahead and do it. One thing I like about the Bronco Toolkit is that you actually have all these extra pieces that you're gonna end up with, right? You just never know when you're gonna need them. So this actually has a zipper where you can actually put all of your extra parts. Of course, there's hard top accessory stuff, but you can also go ahead and put those bad boys in there because I know for me, I end up with parts all over my vehicle and I don't remember what they're for, but at least I have one central location for the toolkit. One thing when you're getting ready to install your accessories is think about comfort in your long term because I know for us, this is primarily a daily driver, but it also is a fun toy. So there are gonna be times that we're gonna wanna use the fun toy to its full capabilities, but there's also times where we're gonna just be daily driving it. So make sure that you sit in your spot, feel the comfort, because we did go ahead and test fit, see, because we thought about maybe putting it this way or down here, but 
after actually sitting in it, we actually found that this will actually be the right spot for us, for our situation. And to keep in mind that we are actually just temporarily putting this on with zip ties. So that way we can adjust if we decide to do so down the road. One thing I really like about this Molly panel too is you actually have holes or you have your square mounts. So the fact that you have the holes helps me actually put this as a tighter mount for our bracket for our radio. So I'm actually really happy with this mount so far. And there you go, and done. Final step is actually putting the radio in itself. So go ahead and slide it straight on and hooking a few things up and we are ready to go. All right, so final thoughts on the mountain to metal console molly panel. I'm actually a huge fan of this because there's a lot of extra space left over even after we put our radio in. Now I know some of you folks are looking at this and going, zip ties, really? Yes, because temporarily this is gonna work for us until we find the permanent spot that we wanna go ahead and mount this radio. So don't be afraid to actually temporarily mount it until you find that perfect spot for you. So, big fan, I can't wait to see what we put on here. All right, so Dave, can we put a trash can on our Molly panel? No. No, why can't we put a trash can on our Molly panel? Come on, you know that we've got to meet function with form and beauty in this thing as well. So stay tuned to see what we end up putting on our Molly panel. But to wrap it up, I'm a big fan. I can't wait to see what accessories we put on this. Did you like the Molly panel? Is it something that you would purchase? If so, what would you put on your Molly panel on your passenger side? Let us know in the comments below. I'm your host, Kelly Boyd, and this has been your All Terrain Nation, and we are out. Have a great day, everybody.